I'm John Lieberman. This is Rapping with Lieberman, real news, rapper's point of view. And we have a very special guest tonight. I want to get right to him. He is Theo Love. He's a rapper, a poet, a songwriter out of Austin. Theo, good to see you. Thank you, John. Thanks for having me. How did you end up in Austin? Uh, music, really. It's the live music capital of the world. And it just, it only took me a matter of time going to college, growing up in Houston to land here. Been here about six, seven years now and just expressing myself artistically, vibing with the movement. And now I've got music to put on the table with everyone else. So how do you meld the styles of Austin, Houston, and New Orleans all together, all those areas that you've, uh, that you've played music in? Well, I've loved the horns my whole life. You know, they say the gates of heaven open with trumpets and the second line, drum lines, and out of New Orleans, I've been there a few times and just vibe with the culture and the richness there. Um, I've got that Houston hustle-like mentality because that's where I grew up. Things are fast and you're always trying to get ahead. But at the same time, I've got some liberal and artistic creative influences that are happening here in Austin. So it's just all of those put together just put me in the right place. Tell us about your writing style. How do you sit down and compose something? It's, it's fluid, you know. Sometimes I'll have an idea and just run with it, you know, pick up pen and pad and I go. And then sometimes the music I'm given and I work with tells me what to write to. So it just kind of depends on where I'm at in my life and what's being displayed at that time. And it's a, an organic thing, you know, it changes. So drop a little rhyme for us. Uh, give us, give us either something you're working on or something you got in your head. When the beat sinks with me, I'm inspired to write a melody. It summons what dwells in me and I feel compelled to speak. In hell excel I breathe, open the mind's eye, I see the past, present, and future simultaneously. Accepting what has happened for what it's meant to be, the pain I felt shaped the best of me. Count your blessings, live thankfully. Many paved the way so we could be. Make it count, follow your dreams, ashe, ashe, live artfully. Love unconditionally, no other love alive in history. Like Martin's, I have a dream speech. I believe in equality and peace. We can change, every person should live free. Have a shelter, somewhere to sleep, clothes on their back and somewhere to eat. Someone to love and someone to keep. It's obvious we're being divided like sheep. Pinned against the, pinned against the wall to make me your enemy. Pawns in a chess game, getting played by the king. Isolated and desensitized to everything you're feeling. Addicted to and dependent on a life that has no meaning. Tell me, am I the only one that's seeing what I'm seeing? People treated like prisoners. They don't know what they're missing. Dreams become reality. I just hope someone listens. Did you have a tough upbringing, would you say? Or did you have a, a good childhood? How would you characterize it? I mean, I was definitely blessed in many ways. There, things weren't easy for us, you know, lower, like middle class. You know, my mom struggled financially, and I'm used to what that's like and always having to kind of come up impoverished in Houston. But... I went to good schools. I was, I was the first one in my family to go to college, and I got my degree, and I've been able to become independent and kind of lead my family. We all uh, grew up with, you know, either absent or no fathers, so it was a bunch of women raising a bunch of men, and uh, I, I, I feel good about where I am now, so I'm, I'm thankful. And back to the music, who do you think the best rapper is out there today, if you had to, if you had to name somebody? Looking at what's happening right now, Kendrick Lamar is shining. He went in on his last body of work, and it's much respect. All right, Kendrick Lamar, he says, all right, let's get to the portion of our program that we call the one-on-one -on -one rap. We talk a little bit about some news items that are going on. Uh, Theo, let's start with this FIFA soccer situation. You know, several uh, officials have now been indicted. Do you think the U.S. should have even gotten involved in the first place? And it seems like a lot of bribes going under the table, a lot of money being lost, and a lot of lives being put and sacrificed, a lot of human rights issues. So, yeah, I would say definitely we had a responsibility to get involved and hold people accountable. All right, speaking of responsibility, the USA Freedom Act is now law. You know, it modifies the NSA's bulk collection of Americans' phone data. Phone data will still be... Uh, collected, but it'll be stored for six months by the phone companies, not the NSA. Is this a good law, Theo? I don't support 
any bulk collection of any phone material, you know. The phone companies have given it willingly to our government, so it, it's kind of tomato tomato to me. I want to ask you about this Josh Duggar situation. He apparently, he's accused at least of molesting four of his sisters. His parents said that anytime kids are molested, it's absolutely horrific. But let me ask you this. Why is the media all over this so much? Because of reality TV? I mean, they had a reality TV show, but at the same time, this is kind of media sensationalism. Um, I don't support any sort of abuse, physical, emotional, sexual, when it comes to our children especially. But at the same time, this is definitely getting a lot of airplay for reasons out of my control. To politics, do the Republicans have a chance to win back the White House, Theo? Yes, as long as money is in politics, everybody has a chance. <laughs> is Hillary beatable, do you think? I mean, everybody's presuming Hillary is going to be the nominee. Uh, she, I mean, I would say she is beatable. I mean, she's a woman, so she has to put up that fight. But if, if everybody is uh, sort of laissez-faire about her expecting her to win, then they're wrong. They're still, they're, she's going to have to fight for it. So I just saw this. Google's working on technology so you can count calories by taking pictures of your food. Google engineers are developing this algorithm that will detect food in a photo, and based on how it looks, it will tell you how many calories are in it. What's this world coming to, Theo? It sounds like magic to me. I don't know, one piece of bread to another <laughs> on the phone. But, uh, you know, it's a beautiful thing that we can do these things, I guess. All right, now we get to the portion of our program that we call Wrap It Up, where we talk about a couple more news issues of the day, and then we will indeed wrap it up. This is from everyjoe.com, Theo, the uh, terrific website that sponsors this program. The headline is Jade Helm 15, Why Testing is Necessary. There's a conspiracy theory out there that the Jade Helm 15 military exercise is a way for the U.S. to essentially take over Texas. Um, do you buy it? No. Texas is a part of the U.S. I don't, uh, I'm going to leave the conspiracy theories to the kids. Okay. And let me ask you this. What are you working on now? Give us a sense of your future projects. No Other Love Alive. It's my latest EP. It just came out on April 20th. You can find it anywhere online or through jerk.com. We're preparing our live show. I play a show this Friday at North Door in Austin, so I'm really excited about that. Do you prefer being live or being in the studio? You know, I've rehearsed a lot of things live, but never music, and I take it live this weekend, so that's, that's, that's hard to say. The work in the studio was amazing, and I never knew that I could even do that, and, but bringing it live and personalizing it is something that only can happen in the show, you know, so I'm excited for both. A little bit nervous about going live? Uh, you know, I mean, it's part of my process to get nervous, but I run a lot, I eat healthy, I sleep, and I'm just, you know... It's my work, so all I got to do is own it. All right, he is Theo Love. He's definitely a guy to watch. You can follow him on Twitter. The address is right there at your screen, or right there on your screen, rather. So follow Theo on Twitter and keep an eye on his career. It's definitely uh, in the upward motion. Theo, thank you for your time. We appreciate it. Yeah, thank you, John. Good to see you. That is Theo Love. I'm John Lieberman. You've been watching rapping with Lieberman right here at everyjoe.com. We look forward to seeing you next time. We'll have some very interesting guests on as always, and we'll see you then. For now, bye-bye.